Well, the um, gear issue on the Milano, on the gear change, is uh, repaired. I can select all the gears. And they're all very nice and easy to find again, like the way it's supposed to be. Uh, I can show you the fix, really, what it came down to anyway. We'll walk on over here. And basically, what brought this whole ordeal to a standstill was a little screw. So I used a hex cap on the shift linkage, as you maybe saw in one of the videos. If it would focus, uh, this is just an M4 by an M4.7 pitch little hex cap I had screwed into that housing you saw and basically um, it was keeping that spherical bushing in place in that in that piece that wasn't obviously good enough and not only that I didn't use Loctite because I'm an idiot apparently to fix that situation I found from work a little metric M4 set screw it's pretty damn small hold the damn linkage together but that's all it really needs um, and then a health dose of uh, good old good old oh wow look at the focus on this phone it's so good there Loctite still won't focus still won't focus wow anyway so I'm under the car uh, one of the procedures is you're supposed to the, see the drive shaft has play back and forwards between the engine and transaxle so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to start the engine you basically undo the pinch bolt that's up front on the front jubo and then you let it run for a bit to let the drive shaft kind of center itself by from running and um, so I hear this bad noise when I'm under there with the thing running because the wheels are obviously spinning from the oil friction and, and everything. So this wheels are just spinning around, but I'm hearing this awful noise. So I turn everything off, I get out and I go to the rear passenger wheel here. And I'm like, holy crap, there's like an inch of play there. So I'm like, what the hell? That's crazy, right? I just rebuilt everything on this car. Well, those rear wheel bearings were the one thing that I neglected to do because I had a receipt from the previous owner from rally round in i think the rally rounds in like tacoma or somewhere in washington anyway that they were done in 2013. so i didn't do it because i had the receipt from them being done at 2013 and those bearings given that they last like 200,000 kilometers it would have been a waste of my money to do them so that bearing obviously was absolutely destroyed they either put the bearing in incorrectly or the bearing disintegrated in some other way. As you can see, I pulled the rear hub assembly off the car. Uh, let's have a look over here. Oh yeah. So you can see the housing that the bearing fits into, the axle shaft I've removed obviously. So there's a two piece Thing, and the bearing basically fits and this gets sandwiched in between by the by a bolt then there is a locking ring on here you can see the threaded part there's a locking ring that keeps the bearing in its um, in its ID in this housing's ID and that so both this and the nut that holds the whole assembly together have to be extraordinarily tight so the nut was hand tight so either the bearing like I said disintegrated or there was an issue with the installation of the bearing because this nut was loose and the whole thing was just slopping back and forth. So going to just tighten this nut again with the impact gun would have probably fixed the slop issue, but the problem is because the cars had miles with the bearing having slop, the bearing is just like absolutely destroyed from that because those bearings cannot have any of that kind of action going on. They need to be the, the torque is critical on the inner and outer races on those bearings. So this is the outer race of the rear wheel bearing on the Milano. You can see it's a double roller, um, not a deep groove. It's called a, ah, crap, there's a special term for this type of bearing, but it's anyway, it's a double ball, large bearing, very, very skookum. Uh, the bits and pieces of the bearing are in my trash can because 
it because of the slop uh, moisture got in there obviously rust starts attacking everything and then the grease turns to shit and it just gets burnt up um the races look fairly decent in here but you can see there is some sc scoring already on them yeah so honestly the the money that that bearing is worth and the fact that this could kill you if it fails prompted me to go and just order the parts uh, a new lock ring um i gotta fashion a tool to tighten that but we'll deal with that later on so yeah you can see how this all fits together the uh the axle shaft attaches to this side then you have that that uh the diddy on tube here and then the wheel goes on that end so yeah we will do this job properly and so that it won't kill me in the future I was able to just fashion this makeshift tool, the piece of threaded rod and some nuts and that little plate uh, to pull the bear, to pull this uh, bearing out of that housing. And you just use a large socket on the one end, you know, basically make a makeshift press to pull that thing out. I'll use the same tool to probably get it back in. Might as well since it's already there. So yeah, a little bit of a scary uh, ordeal there, but I'm glad it's actually going to get fixed properly now.